All right, here we are again doing some graphing, this time with systems of inequalities. Um, so again, if you watched the last video, which you should have, we know that we graph these the same way we would graph them. So I'm graphing this one the same as if it said y equals negative 3x plus 4. The only thing I got to worry about is that this right here means it's going to be a solid line. And so this also means that it's solid. So this is going to turn out we're graphing y equals 3 over 5, x minus 5. So it doesn't matter which one we graph first, but we're going to graph both. I'm going to graph them both in two different colors so that we can keep our stuff straight. So we'll do the top one in blue here. And so I start at positive 4 and negative 3, down 3 to the right 1, down 3 to the right 1, down 3 to the right 1. So there's my first one. It's a solid line, so I'm going to go ahead and try to draw this out here without messing it up too bad. Oh, this is rough. There we go. All right, and then let's just go ahead and check our which way we're going to shade, because remember, that's the other thing that's different. So am I going to shade on 0, 0, plug it in here, I'll write it up here, 0 is greater than or equal to, this is gone, so negative 3x times 0 is 0, so plus 4 is all that's left. That is not true, so we're going to shade on this side, so I'm not going to do that just yet, and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to shade on that side of the blue line. Let's do the second one in red. So I started at negative 5 all the way down here. And it's up 3 over 5, positive. So there's my other point. Don't really have any in between. It's also solid, so I go ahead and draw that line. I am way better at drawing straighter lines going from left to right. All right, so there we go. And then we can check this with 0, 0 as well. So I plug in 0, so I'll do it down here. 0 is less than or equal to 0 times 3 halves, or 3 fifths is 0, so it's just negative 5 is left. That is not true. So this one was not true as well in the blue. So that's why we shaded on that side. So we're going to shade the red down here, not up there. And so the only place that gets shaded is where they both would get shaded. So I would shade the blue like all of this side, which I'm not going to do very much of. And then I would shade the red down here, all of this side. And the only place where they're both shaded is right here. So in a system, this is the only area I care about, is the green area. So wherever they're both shaded is what my answer is. Any point that falls in that shaded area is going to make both of these uh, equations true for this system of inequalities. So let's go ahead and do one more, and we'll be done with this video. So I'm going to do this one in uh, red and blue again. So this will be blue. This one will be red. We graph them as if they had equal signs. So I start at negative 4 for the top equation, up 4 to the right 3 because it's positive. And I'll go ahead, and that one is solid. This is a solid line because it has the equal sign in there. So I'll go ahead and draw a solid line between these two points. This is where you need a ruler because you want your, when you're graphing, if you don't have a ruler and you don't have a grid, then your answer is not very accurate. It's only as accurate as you make it. So let's test 0, 0 again. So 0 is less than or equal to negative 4. That is not true. Negative 4 is smaller than 0. So I would shade on this side. So I'll go ahead and just throw a few little lines so we keep that in mind. Now let's graph our other one. So this one we're starting at negative 3, so right above it. And it is a negative slope, so I go up and left, up and left. It's 1 over 1. So there's that. And it goes this way as well too. So I'm going to go ahead and try to connect these dots. And it is, got to be careful, this one's dashed. 
so I'm not connecting them. It's going to help me out because I can't draw from left to right going down like that. Have a hard time. And let's check our zero. Zero, zero. It's the easiest point to check. Tells me if it's going to be on that side or on that side. So zero is greater than negative three. That's true. So I would shade up here. So that means that the area that they both get shaded in is right here. This area down here is the area that gets shaded in for both. So any point in that area is going to be a solution to this system of inequalities. So I have to draw both lines. That's my first thing to be able to graph them and then I need to shade the correct side and the side that I or the place where I shade for both lines is where my solution is so nothing up here is a solution nothing in this little area down here is a solution only what's framed in by the blue line and the red line makes a solution so looking back at our old one nothing up here is a solution nothing in here is a solution just what is right here. This is the solution. So again, this for this bottom one here, this is a solution. Okay, so thanks for watching.